Hello, uh, welcome to the course Virtual Learning Environments for the Classroom. My name is Hugh Roberts and together with Brenda Walsh we'll be taking you through the course content. The first thing we need to do is to familiarise ourselves with the VLE that we'll be using to deliver the course material. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the eschool.com website, which is e-school.com and click onto the VLE login at the top right hand side of the page. Now you will have been sent a username and a password uh, to your email, so please enter that now. If you don't have a username or email or, or password, sorry, please uh, send us an email and we can set you up. So click in the login button and once you're logged in you will find that you're into the main page of the VLE. Uh, there's two main categories that are set up at the moment. There's the VLE training category and then there's a the summer course 09 category. Uh, the summer course 09 category is where you will put your own course, uh, so where you can be developing your own material. Uh, however, the part where you'll be doing the training, or the course where you're doing the training, is the virtual learning environment in the classroom, which is this one here. So please uh, click on this link to open up the course material. Now you'll be asked for one more password, which is an enrolment key, and again that's been sent to your email, so please enter that. and click enroll. So you're now then presented with the main page of the VLE course and you can see that on the left hand side you will see that there are different users that might be up at any given time. Uh, you can also see the participants on the course at any given time um, and there's also things like latest news and so on. So please familiarize yourself with that layout. However, the important part of the course is the central part here, which is the main topics. And you can see that the, each topic has a module. So there's module one, two, three, and so on. Just keep on scrolling down to see the different modules. And we've aimed to give you a time limit or a sort of a rough idea of how long it'll take to do each module. The first thing we'd like you to do is to introduce yourselves via the introduction forum. So please click on the forum here very top and you'll see that there is a discussion which has been put in place by ourselves uh, so you can click on that discussion welcome to the course and give a reply to it and it's exactly like using an email so if I press reply here you'll get a little uh, subject and a message box and you can put in your own message once you put in your message here you can simply scroll down and click post to the forum here. Now when you post to a forum um, or when any posts are given to the forum they will automatically end up in your email inbox as well so you don't have to be logging in uh, to the site all the time to view if there's been any replies to your, your messages in the forum. The forum is an extremely important part of online learning uh, because it's the main way which we can communicate and uh, solve any issues and problems. Uh, so it's a very good way of uh, keeping in touch with each other and also keeping in touch with myself and Brenda. We'll aim to reply to any of your messages in the forum within 24 hours. Okay, it'll normally be a lot less than that. Uh, you'll see up here on the, on the top then there are different links and you can use these links to navigate around the actual course itself. So to go back to the main page of the course, click on the VLE training link and you'll be back there to the main part of the course. To go back to the uh, eSchool uh, VLE homepage if you like, click on this link here and you'll be back there. You can also go back to the website just by clicking onto these. Okay, so we hope you enjoy the course and we look forward to uh, talking and communicating with you soon via the online forums. Thank you very much.